Good morning. Today I'm very nervous because it's my first day on a new team at work and a completely new discipline. So I'm going from backend development to data engineering, which is very different. And I'm excited for it, but I'm also nervous. And I'm having a meeting at 9 a.m., which is soon, with my new mentor and my new manager. So we will see how that goes. It's like a welcome to the team meeting, and they're probably going to help me figure out what to do today, like how to onboard and like the plan. So basically what I wanted to do for this video was to show those three days that I work during the week and show like how I'm onboarding onto the team and how it works. So then I'll, I'm working today, which is Tuesday and also on Thursday and Friday from nine to 5.30 because I leave Monday and Wednesday for school. So that's how it's gonna work this semester. Okay, so I just had my first meeting with my new mentor and lead on my team and they're explaining what I'm going to be working on for the next few days and they're thinking that since I don't really have a lot of big data knowledge that I can maybe go through like this asynchronous like learning pathway for people who join the company and are new to data engineering and they said that I should be taking notes about everything along the way so that if something is there that I don't understand and that means that I'm not bad that apparently it's like they they're they need to add more information or just make it more clear for other people who join the team in the future so I have to keep that in mind and also my lead was saying that before joining Shopify he also didn't know how to do data engineering so he was mostly a software developer before and he said it took him a few months to understand why big data exists what is the purpose of it? Why can't we just go to a MySQL table, like a relational database and just ask for the data we need? Well, it's because when you have so much data, it takes so much time to actually go through that and query it. And it's like time that we don't have to do that stuff. So that's why there are all these like services and all the Apache things that I don't know about yet that help with that kind of stuff. So hopefully I will learn some of that today. And they're also adding me to all the Slack channels that I need to be added to. Okay, so what I have been doing so far, it is currently almost 11 and I have been going through this data engineering handbook that we have and all of the things that I don't know I'm doing further research on, like if they link out to something, like right now I'm looking at Apache Spark structured streaming, which is interesting. This kind of stuff is what I'm looking at, all this documentation. And then I want to go and look into Kafka and a few other things. So I have a list of some things I do not know and I want to get like somewhat of a little bit of understanding on them. Okay, so I've basically gone through most of like the data handbook that I was looking at and so many words that I don't understand. Literally like one page will have like 20 technologies that I do not know and they're all like Apache something, Apache this, Apache that. And it is cool, but then that means I had to go to all of those websites and look at their like quick start or their overviews to see what they are. And so I'm like, okay, data streaming and move the data from here and then there and then there. And then, yeah, I just, I don't know the big picture of like, okay, use this and then use that and then use that. Cause it's kind of confusing. They're all, sound the same. Yeah, data is very weird and big data is even weirder or it's a little bit more complicated than what I'm used to, but I'm excited to learn. Okay, so I finished my banana bread and I watched the video everything you need to know about Kafka in 10 minutes. And it's actually pretty interesting. It's it's different from what I expected because they're basically saying that Kafka manages things instead of storing stuff as things that we're used to in a database, like an entity with attributes, thermometer or something like that stores temperature and that kind of stuff. Instead, it stores them as events in a log. They manage these logs and they call them topics. Now I'm going to have my first team meeting so I get to meet everybody. They have like a daily sync stand-up. So I'm excited to meet the other people because I only know a few people on the team for now.
Good morning, today is Thursday and I wrote like this whole huge eight page document about all the things that I was learning on Tuesday and I got my mentor to answer some of the questions I had so now things kind of make more sense and some interesting things I learned about were like Apache Spark and Apache Beam and like a few different Apache things and like all the different technologies that we're using at Shopify to do all this kind of stuff because we don't just use something out of the box we build stuff on top of it or like do a few different things to connect everything together and I also learned about what CDC means which means change data capture so whenever data in MySQL changes it streams that change up to something we call a bin log so binary log so by listening to these changes we can actually capture that and rebuild the entire data set so like all of the changes that happened so if like one thing was updated you can see the history of things and then that's what's stored in the data warehouse so because i was always wondering how do you capture all those different changes so then that's something i learned and then i watched a lot of data onboarding videos that they had recorded with like different people from the data engineering organization and it was really cool like i went into the intro to shopify data architecture so how we have like you can where can you get data from then it goes into this place called they call it extraction platform where it's like how do you extract the data what do you do with it and then it goes into then it's it's basically called unrefined data and you can use that for things so it's like the raw data where you haven't done anything to it and then it goes through the transformation platform where they transform the data and then it can be refined and also i learned a little bit about kimball modeling so it's like the what is it called they're like oh yeah software design plus data equals dimensional modeling so they're talking about how you have a fact and then you have multiple dimensions that relate to that fact and so like the foreign key in the fact table will be pointing to a dimension which is like i don't know it was interesting but it was kind of kind of confusing and maybe it's something that i need to learn more about maybe i can take a look at some prs that people have worked on and see like what kind of coding they're doing so i can just get a feel for that yeah i also wanted to ask him like my mentor if we can try to make like a list of topics that I can try learning for like the next few months at least. And I do want to also try to do a one-on-one, -on -one, like a meeting with each person on my team because I don't know them. So I want to get to know them more and I think that would be good. So that's my plan. Okay, so I just had my team sync meeting. I told my teammates that I like my manager that I don't really know what I'm doing today because all I was doing is just looking at other people's code, trying to understand it. My mentor seems very busy today. He seems like he has a lot of meetings, so I don't want to annoy him that much. But then it's also like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be working on for today and tomorrow. So then I told my, like, my team that and then some, one of them sent me some resources, so that's good. And then my manager is going to meet with me after lunch so we can plan out more what to do and to maybe go over some of like the videos and the concepts that I learned from on Tuesday. So that will be hopefully good. Okay, I finally had a meeting with my mentor and things are starting to make sense a little bit. So he explained the different projects, like there's two projects that the team is working on. And then a project that I will be helping with is working with Apache Druid and making it better for us to use because he was saying that we use a lot of different places, like we store data in a lot of different ways. And then one of them is in Druid. And why do you use Druid? It's because it's good for time-based data. So like say you wanted to get how many sales you had in the last like three days or something. Now I finally understand why we use that and like kind of the layers of the data that we have. And like, okay, this is where this technology lies and then this is where another one does. Because it's, it's kind of easier when someone explains it to you and then just reading it on this like text on the screen, it kind of just goes over your head. Especially when I'm just like reading so much and so many new like terms. And then for tomorrow, my plan is to actually start doing some coding. Like there's some code lab that I can do, which is like doing some practice basically and like taking notes apparently on 
if it's a good or bad. So I'm gonna try doing that. 